I too want to add my, my uh, congratulations and praises for those who have served so well in, in attacking uh, the issues that uh, we are talking about here. The high-risk list was something that is, we, just, we think of as a valuable tool, a tool that, that would help us focus on the particular issues uh, that uh, our government faces. And so uh, we have done that over the years. And, and when, when it came uh, forth in 1990, we started uh, on this process of uh, working down the high-risk list. And I just want to talk about, about two <laughs> programs uh, on the high-risk list that uh, one was successful. One, we're making progress on. And uh, uh, we worked hard uh, as, as the um, Senate uh, Government Management Subcommittee uh, to work on uh, security clearance. And it, we did it in, in seven, um, seven hearings, public hearings that, that we held. But in that, we learned a lot. And I want to mention George Voinovich, my friend and former senator, who uh, worked with me closely on this. And we looked into it, and we found that, uh, that the system was outdated, the system was, uh, was inefficient, and uh, worked with GEO on this. And GEO's attention really helped us bring about a change. You know, at that time, it took more than a year, more than a year to get security clearance. Well, let me tell you happily that we have taken it off the high-risk list, and now we can complete uh, the security clearance in two months. And that's what has happened uh, with the process that we're working on. And, and, and there are so many civil servants that uh, made a difference in, in bringing, bringing this about. And of course, the, the, other, uh, the other issue here is uh, one having to do with uh, human capital. And uh, we've worked hard on, on human capital and, and has shown some improvement and still working on it with, with GEO's last report, it shows that. And Clearly, without question, more needs to be done to build a strong, modern workforce by attracting and retaining the best talent in our country. Uh, you know that the Department of Homeland Security also continues to face many challenges as it uh, integrates its management uh, functions. The progress we made on security clearances, and I want to stress this, has served as a model a model for other future oversight efforts, and we're looking to use it too. I, I want to thank again my friend, Senator Voinovich, for his past help on this. And um, I smilingly say, unfortunately, he could not be here today because the February weather in Florida is uh, <laughs> much nicer than in Washington. I also look forward to continuing uh, the subcommittee's work with our new ranking member, Senator Ron Johnson. <laughs>